bombs here. Hey Harley, are you doing okay? What's up guys, James Palms here. Well, my cat just went for a swim, uh, not intentionally. She actually almost died. I came out here in the morning and she was clinging to the ladder screaming. I just happened to notice her through the house. She was clung to the ladder. She must have fell in and I guess she obviously can't swim and she couldn't get herself out from there because the other steps too far down and she was just clinging to that like death grip, screaming for help. Luckily I noticed her in time and pulled her out. I don't think she can hold her breath or swim, so. But uh, just put her on the table here in the sun. She was like panicking. But uh, it's July 6th today. Gorgeous, burning hot, full sun morning. And uh, I think I'll give a full yard uh, update and look around at all the palmage here. Might as well. And uh, this is a brand new phone, so let me know if it looks any better. I don't know if it will on YouTube, but yeah, I got a brand new phone here, iPhone 15. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's better, more stable. We'll see. Anyways, and then let me know how the sound is too, because people usually complain about the sound because I don't talk that loud when I'm in my backyard and neighbors and stuff around. I don't want to scream, but uh, yeah. So that was a little bit nerve wracking this morning, but uh, I figured I'm outside now. Not that I'm not outside a lot, but I'll take a video. It's a gorgeous morning here, probably about 25 degrees. First thing in the morning here and uh, yeah, full sun kind of morning, so gorgeous. Got a lot of growth out of these two just in a couple days. You can see a big frond open up. It only take like three days to three to four days to open up one frond like this on these guys here. They could definitely make a frond in a week when they're growing really good. All right, let's keep looking around here. All right, guys, so we'll give you a close look here. Gorgeous morning. We'll give you a close look here at the big Mexican fan palm. Washingtonia robusta in the morning sun here. It's about 9.30 right now, 9, 9.30 in the morning, something like that. And it's looking gorgeous. And yeah, the sun's pretty high because we got really long days here this time of year, of course. Got to water, water the garden here in a few minutes. It actually rained last night, but my wife still says water it. It looks pretty dry, wet to me. But I love the uh, sun coming through the fronds. We got, I don't even know how many fronds this has put out. I can't. I can't count them, but it's got one right there that it just opened. Um, this one, it's got, it's gonna open another one. It's got about, probably about six fronds in there. I have really large hands. I don't know if I can get them in there. So there's the center spear. There's at least, there's one here, one here, and one here about to open. There's one right on the back here about to open. There's one here that'll be right next. And then there's another one here. You can probably see the bottom of it there. Down just past my thumb. But this is uh, really thick. That's about this thick. Those all together like that is about as thick as the sweet spot of a baseball bat. And then that goes up. But uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of fronds in there, probably about five or six fronds in there. You gotta be real careful though. You can get really opened up going in here. And this year, between the fall and the winter, I probably trimmed, I'd say almost 30 fronds because I took about 12 or 13 off in the spring alone. I took like seven off one day and another seven the other day or six, something like that. So I probably took about 12. 13 fronds off this thing. Uh, here's the trunk as always. Here's the trunk with a US 16. That's US size 16. So there's the trunk. You can get a bit of a gauge. It's harder with a, your foot. Maybe if your foot's smaller, you might not uh, be able to judge it, but grass is still green. Started drying out in a few spots because we've been getting some heat here. These old flower stalks too, you gotta trim them off. They just, they just fall and hang down and look like garbage. You gotta keep edging this out every couple of weeks. But yeah, of course, these are the little Mexican fan palms. This one's five years old, I believe, from the time I brought the seed home. And there's that there's that trunk there with a US 16. And uh, I think I really dirty touch of my getting in there with the palm tree on it. But I gotta edge these ones out. Of course, I still haven't. I, I always say I'm going to, and then I end up just uh, trying to swim and enjoy the backyard. Once I do it, though, then it's good for a while. But it's like that one. That'll look good for the next year or two. As long as you do it once, it'll definitely look good all, sum, all summer long. But it is, a, pardon me, it is a little bit of work. You gotta 
one cloud coming overhead right now. And this palm just steadily does nothing. That's what it'll do. Any palm tree you leave in a pot for as long as it is. I, I really should plant it. I, I might plant it uh, maybe this week or something like that. I don't know. I'm going away. I'm going to California in just a couple days. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to Southern and Northern California. I'm going to do a little bit of a tour for about two weeks all around California. Beautiful little Phoenix Reclinatus. Lots of those in uh, Southern California. Yep, this is the super cold hardy one. Harley's finally starting to dry up. Man, I made the kids breakfast before I came back out and shoot the rest of this video. So she was actually just sitting there. She didn't budge sitting there on the table in the sun. These seeds are really coming along here. You gotta back up like 25 feet to get a, a view of that palm to get her in all of her glory. Looking good. Water's about 88. Look at the seeds though. They're really coming along. And there is just, I mean, there's seven, six or seven stalks on there. There is just thousands and thousands and thousands of seeds. There's palms. I mean, that would make thousands of palms. I, I can't even fathom how many that would make. And they're good viable seed. Like, like I don't know about all of them, but man, when they drop there, I haven't had great luck with them in the bag yet. Usually if I put them in there, they, I get a couple, if I put 20 seeds in, I get three or four go right away. But man, if you just let them fall on the ground or you just sprinkle them around, I think every one germinates. I don't know, they don't tend to like, they want the natural way. They want to just like get hot during the day, cool at night, uh, and, and you know, not too hot. I don't know, so like Mexican fan palm, you can just percolate the growth with, you just put them under some heat and moisture and they just pop right away. But these guys, they kind of take their time and they just they just want to do it naturally, really. But uh, looks great up here on the deck. Up here on the deck, it's nice in the morning sun. I got a tiny little bit. And when this thing has all of its leaves on it, this ginormous black walnut in my neighbor's yard, it, it gives me about one hour of shade as the sun kind of crests across, across the, the sky. It comes across this part here. It actually puts my pool and this palm, it cuts like right here. It puts my pool and this palm tree in shade. Um, and, as, and, it, and it changes and it gets a little bit longer as the, uh, as the day goes on. I'd love to cut it down or uh, get it trimmed, but uh, uh, the neighbor's not, this guy here is not really great that owns the tree. He's not, you can't really talk to him. So it's not great, but sometimes you don't have the choice, but that's okay because they don't mind a tiny bit of uh, a break from the sun. It's actually kind of good, especially for this adenidia. Somebody commented at the beginning, my God, your adenidia or your Christmas palm looks like garbage. Uh, I don't know, hopefully it looks better now. It looks good to me now. I mean, I, do, I definitely know it. it uh, I, unfortunately, I lost two fronds on this palm uh, in the spring which uh, I think it was lack of water. Still not quite sure why they, they just declined and fell off, but they did. Uh, it was getting the right amount of sun as I was slowly acclimatizing it, but looks good. We got uh, a new front on it now, so it only had two, so now it's got three. And uh, it does have one more just ever so slightly starting to peak up. Eh, yeah, you can see it there. It was like sort of out of focus, but you can see it. This one here didn't lose the two fronts, so it still already had them. So it had one, two, three, four. And it's working on its fifth one. So they always lose fronds in the winter. So when I bring them in, they'll have six or seven fronds on each one because it pushes about one frond per month, um, especially if I refreshen up that potting soil. If I do get that, that blue palm tree out of there and into the ground, I'll put this one into the blue pot and I'll put one of my bigger, I couldn't uh, talk, I'll put one of my bigger um, Trachycarpus fortunis into this pot, one of the ones over there. And uh, I might get rid of the other one. I haven't decided yet. Right now they're just kind of, I'll probably put the one with the two trunks in there and uh and then that'll that'll start growing it'll take off a little bit grow a little bit more growth might as well show you the front yard though and uh and i'll show you my little potty palms across the side here and then that'll be it for the update. yeah if i put this one here in the ground or in that pot uh, that'd do pretty good this will have a nice that'll start to take off a little bit and then i don't know if i'm going to give away this one sell it well definitely probably sell it uh or give it to a good friend might plant it in someone's yard um but it's got a uh, I don't, I don't really need another big giant palm like that. My little sable palmetto slowly growing. Six years from seed. This is a sable casarium from uh, my friend Christian Faulkner, the palm father. And uh, yep, this is a Copernicia macroglossa that I grew from seed uh, from the Florida Keys uh, right near 
Theater of the Seas on uh, Isla Mirada. And uh, I guess I can give you a quick update. There's the fourth frond coming out on the how to grow palm from your grocery store. This is that uh, date palm from uh, Saudi Arabia, I believe. Something like that, I think this is Saudi Arabia. It's set on there, so yeah, well, I have no clue what it's gonna look like or anything, I don't know. We just bought the date from the grocery store. Thought it'd be cool to do it, so hopefully you guys are enjoying that. You can watch it come along, we'll see. It'll, it'll take a couple years before it gets really decent, but I mean, if it gets big enough, I'll plant it in the ground one day. That's, uh, that'll be a long time from here. This palm is actually a pretty cool little story here. So this palm tree here is actually making a little adult frond right now, which is pretty neat. So this was uh, sitting in one of these cups like this, and it sat there for a long time, and all the soil kind of got knocked off, and it kind of got uprooted. I don't really have any that looked like that. Maybe it was, it was like this, but worse. There was no soil in it, and uh, I came out, and it was like shriveled, and it looked like it was dead. There was literally no soil, and it sat in the sun for days and days. It was baking. It was like dead as a doornail. Basically, I took it out of the pot like this and I stuck it in a jug of water uh, and I rinsed it down and it was like down to one frond with the tiniest bit of green and shriveled up and all the other ones were brown and the center was shriveled up and I thought for sure it would have pulled out. So I put it in a cup with water and I left it there and I kind of forgot about it. It was sitting in my furnace room or something. It sat there for like a month or two. And after about a month, just sitting in a cup of water, it was still green. It started kind of almost looking like it was starting to grow again. And I was like, that's weird. It looked like it started to push a little bit. So I kind of repotted it. I potted it into this pot and it's kind of, at first it only had, I think it just had like one little blade of grass and it just slowly started pushing. I, I thought there's no way it was gonna come back from that I almost certain death. And uh, it's actually been growing good. It's actually been one of my faster, I watch all these uh, palmettos that I have from seed here. And this one has been noticeably doing pretty good. Kind of, it's kind of speedy for, for a palmetto. So two little Mexican fan palm. I don't even know where they came from. I know I've, I've always had seed, but these probably would have been in a cup like this and sat for days or years or whatever, and they didn't move. And eventually I put them into these. So now they're starting to grow. Uh, they'll grow a little bit more, but they, they need to be repotted again, likely that even at that size there in a one gallon pot. And then we got a few like five year old here, little palmettos. These are about the same. I just grew them from seed and then planted them and they just keep growing. They're, they're a little bit bigger than that guy. They're not quite as big as my largest one there, but and this one's the same thing. I just repotted it. It was one of these ones that just sat there in a red solo cup for years and I just repotted it. I have given away all the decent sized ones. So eventually I take a couple of my old red solo cup. Might almost be time to get a few more uh, seeds for Mexican fan palm. I like to keep a couple small ones like this to give away and just to grow because they're fun to watch grow. I'm getting, I'm getting down to less here. I got two Phoenix Reclinatus here. I don't really know why I have them both. They don't look as great as my bigger one, but if that big one gets nice, I might, maybe I'll tuck these in beside it because it's a clumping palm anyways. So if I'm gonna protect it, maybe I put all of them in there. I haven't really decided what I was gonna do with them. I don't really need them both, but I've kind of got my supply here down to a manageable level. So I like that. These are just some stuff that has to go on the ground that I never did. Some, some flowers here. Gotta cut those, uh, front, or those uh, flower stalks off. This thing's flowered two or three years now. I can't remember now. It's got it's yellowing one frond, but it's got quite a bit on it. The grass is still green out here. I watered it a little bit here. You can't really give it no water. It's really long. I don't cut it in the heat. I actually really have to cut it today. I probably won't, but yeah, looking good. See, it's this frond here. It'll start yellowing it off. Those are really old. Those fronds have probably been on there for five years, four years, whatever. Who knows? Long time. This one too had one yellowing over there, yeah. Right back in the back there, there's one yellowing at the bottom. But that, this takes forever. I've hardly trimmed anything off of these. They never, this one especially always gets crushed down, but, and its seeds are coming along too. Not as many seeds, just three seed stalks and not as many seeds on each stalk, but this palm is quite a bit younger. This is, you know, less than half the age. Got a few little babies at the base of it too. You can see them down there. Somewhere around there, there you go. It's getting another top layer on top of that. Once it pushes that other layer out, then it'll really look nice. But it's a pretty thick, full, bushy looking palm. It's just that every year it sucks that you have to kind of put it in the box and crush them all down because I don't want ginormous boxes out front there. The roof's like over eight feet tall, right? So you got, I don't want a 13 foot box here in my front yard. And even that one's starting to get up there now. But this one that looks a little bit more just sort of bushy, but I don't mind it. This one stays tidier, I'm not sure why. But anyways, guys, 
Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. More palm tree videos here from Southern Ontario and Southern California in a few days. That thing's really poked over, over the fence. So this one, I planted this, this wasn't anywhere near the top of the fence. And now she's uh, about five, six feet, easily six feet over that fence. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please.